Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. This is Emad and I think I need a haircut because my hair is a bit long. So please let me know in the comments what do you think about that. Anyways, this is Google Apps Updates Roundup number 43 and you already know what it's all about. So let's jump right in. Let's start with YouTube Music and the first change when you tap and hold on the app icon you will see a new shortcut called Play My Station. Tapping on it will simply play the recommended songs by YouTube Music. The second change is the new categories that started to appear in the home screen. The first one is called From Your Library which will simply show you some of the playlists you already created and when you scroll down even more there's a new category here called Songs of the Decade and another one called Decades which includes songs from the 80s, 90s, and so on. Change number three is the redesigned Add to Playlist card. Now it fills the entire screen so it looks better and it will give you more space. The recent ones are now located at the top in a horizontal carousel versus a vertical list for all the playlists you have. Each playlist now shows the thumbnail next to it which will make it easier to identify them and also the number of songs is located under each one. And finally the new playlist button is now using apple shaped design instead of the rectangular shape like before. The last change I'm going to show you in YouTube music is the addition of the song slash video switcher to the now playing screen on the web. It works exactly the same way as the app. If there is a video available for this song you can simply click the button and it will seamlessly switch between the two but I found it to only show up when I use my YouTube premium account. Next YouTube and it got a small visual tweak if you are scrolling through your home feed and one of the channels is currently having a live stream like France 24 for example you will see this new live badge on top of that profile picture. Next Google Play Store and it got plenty of design changes. The first one is under the games tab. When you scroll down until you reach the game demos category, you will see this thunder button on top of each game, which will allow you to try it immediately. So for example, I'm gonna tap on this one. And as you see, I can start playing. And if I like the game, I can download the full version later if I want. And sometimes this button has the word try next to it, like in the Angry Birds game you see right here. And under apps you will see a new story like interface which will allow you to see the recommended apps and you can tap on the edges same as any story to switch between them. You will see the same thing under the based on your activity section. And finally under the games tab when you scroll down to the suggested for you section you will see this new animated splash screen for the games. It has a 3D effect that moves towards you similar to the cinematic photos. Next Google Photos. And this is one of the screenshots I took earlier and as you see at the top left corner there is a hamburger menu but tapping on it for now doesn't do anything. It seems like Google is planning to return this feature back to Google Photos similar to what we have seen in Google Messages. This new menu appears and disappears randomly and that's why I took a screenshot to show you how it looks. Another change I noticed in the app when I take a photo that includes text using the camera and then try to view the photo I get a new suggestion here at the bottom says copy text from image. And this is not the case with screenshots. So for example this is one of the screenshots I have it also includes text but the suggestion I'm getting is called search inside the screenshot. So this new one only appears if your photo is taken using the camera. Tapping on the suggestion will simply launch Google Lens and start highlighting the text automatically for you. Next Google app and the first change is the removal of the snapshot feature. So as you see here when I go to Google discover I don't have the icon anymore and even when I open the Google app I don't see it as well. The second change when you turn on the dark mode now you will see darker background. So here's the dark theme activated and when I go to Google discover the top part is now darker than before and even when I open Google app itself I see the same exact change. Now let's talk about Google Assistant and I will show you new changes that I don't know when exactly they got released. Anyways now when I try to send a text message using Google Assistant instead of asking me what's the message it automatically activates the assistant voice typing in Gboard to start dictating my message. So let me show you an example. Send a message to Ahmed Nagy on WhatsApp. This is a test. As you saw I dictated my message to the assistant voice typing instead of communicating directly with Google Assistant and this new behavior only applies to the Pixel 6 models. The second change is related to creating lists using Google Assistant. So for example when you ask the assistant to create a shopping list and add some products to it this list will be created inside Keep Notes and the products will be added in a checklist format. So let me show you an example. 
Add milk, bread and the cheese to my shopping list. I couldn't find a list called shopping. Do you want me to make one? Yes. As you see, the list got created inside the Keep Notes app and the products are now in a checklist. This never been the case before, even if I have my Keep Notes linked to Google Assistant under the Assistant settings. And also when I ask for my shopping list, it will show me the results from Keep Notes. So let me show you this. What's on my shopping list? You have two things on that list. So this is how it looks now. The third change is under Google Assistant settings and then wellness. Now I see a new toggle called Living Room Chromecast, which is my Chromecast with Google TV. As per the description, this toggle will allow the assistant to show information about your health and activity on your Chromecast. But unfortunately, activating the toggle doesn't do anything. And when I go back and then go to wellness again, it gets deactivated on its own. So it seems to be under development. Next, Google Lens. And the first change is the screenshots and the images sections now have more rounded corners compared to the previous versions. And there's a new drop down arrow here next to the word screenshots, which will allow you to access all the device folders. So that will make it much easier for you to select the image you want and instead of scrolling through this very long list. Next, Google Maps. And it got a small change. Once you open the app under the Explore tab, you will immediately see the postings and ratings of people for the areas around you. And instead of showing you a list of categories at the top in a horizontal carousel. So here's a screenshot from Google Maps showing the old design. And as you see here, these are the categories, but now it's no longer the case. Next, the Google Home app on iOS now supports the TV remote. So if you have Chromecast with Google TV and have your Google Home app installed, when you go to the living room Chromecast, you will see a new icon here at the bottom left corner called Remote. Tapping on it for the first time will ask you for a code. This code appears instantly on the TV, so you can just copy the code and hit pair. Once done, you will get this screen, which will allow you to navigate the device using the swipe gestures, or you can also switch to a D-pad control. You can also start your Google Assistant, go home, here's a back button, you can mute the sound and also change the volume. And finally, at the top, you have the power button and the keyboard icon in case you want to type anything. Next, Google One app now supports the VPN feature on iOS devices once you subscribe to the two terabyte plan. Once done, you should see a toggle on the home page that will allow you to activate the feature. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new changes I wanted to show you today. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything to include in my future videos. But for now, thank you so much for watching and see you the next video.